Across gardens, hedgerows and woodland edges, a familiar song drifts on the breeze. It belongs to one of the most widespread and best loved birds of Europe. The blackbird, Turdus marula. Today, we follow this remarkable songster through its daily life, its challenges and its triumphs. The blackbird is a member of the thrush family, familiar to millions across Europe, Asia and North Africa. At first glance, the males are unmistakable, their glossy jet black plumage set against a vivid orange bill and a bright golden eye ring. The females, however, are dressed in more modest shades of dark brown, often with faint mottling across the breast. Young blackbirds, too, wear a speckled camouflage coat, similar to that of adult females, but with slightly more speckles on their breast. Omnivores by nature, blackbirds adapt their diet to the season. In spring, when chicks demand rich protein, the adults' sharp eyes scan lawns and fields for earthworms and beetles. In autumn, as insects dwindle, the blackbird turns instead to hedgerows laden with berries and fallen fruits scattered across the ground. They are also frequent visitors to bird feeders in gardens. This flexibility ensures their survival in the ever-changing rhythm of the seasons. Springtime stirs the blackbird into song. The male's fluted notes, rich and melodious, proclaim his territory and allure a mate. When the time comes, a nest is built, a cup of grass and leaves, cemented with mud. Within it, the female lays up to five blue-green eggs, speckled with reddish-brown. For nearly two weeks, she incubates them until the faint tapping of beaks heralds the next generation. The chicks, blind and helpless, grow swiftly on a diet of worms and insects. Within a fortnight, they are ready to fledge, tumbling from the nest into the wide world. Here, danger abounds, but with care from their parents, many survive their perilous first weeks. The blackbird's song is a simple thing, yet for centuries, it has stirred poets, inspired musicians, and comforted those who pause to listen. It is the voice of mourning, of renewal, of life persisting in the face of change. As long as we hear that liquid music drifting across our fields and gardens, we are reminded of the deep and timeless bond we share with the natural world.